Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another episode of Jash Reads, this time of chapter 16 from Animorphs Number 1 The Invasion by K.A. Applegate. I did it Monday morning in my locker at school. I turned into a lizard. A green anole, to be exact. It's a member of the Guana family. <laughs> like, you care. I waited till the bell rang for first period, which was English class. When everyone else was out of the hallway, I just climbed into my locker. I tried to act cool about it, just in case anyone was watching. The locker was about two inches shorter than me, so I had to crouch. It was so tight I couldn't move. The only light was from the three small ventilation slits. I could hear my heart pounding in the cramped, dark space. I was afraid. It was one thing to turn into a dog. I mean, it's weird, it's strange, but it's also kind of cool. Dogs are cool animals, <laughs> but lizards? I should have practiced, I muttered under my breath. I sh really should have practiced like Cassie said. I started to focus for the morphine. I remembered the way we had caught the lizard the night before last. We'd spotted it with a flashlight and Cassie had put a bucket over it so it couldn't get away. It had been fairly creepy just touching it acquire its DNA pattern. Now I was going to become it. The first thing I noticed was that I suddenly had more room inside the locker. I didn't have to crouch down, and my shoulders weren't scrunched up anymore. I touched my face with one hand. My skin was looser than it should have been and pebbly to the touch. I ran my hand over my head. My hair was almost all gone. Things began to happen very fast. The locker grew and grew around me. It was big as a barn, big as a stadium. It was like falling, like falling off a skyscraper and taking forever to hit the ground. I was standing on something sticky, as large as a boulder. How had a boulder got into my locker? <laughs> but then I realized it was a wad of gum, an old chewed wad of gum stuck to the bottom of my locker. Gigantic grapes as big as the sails of a ship were falling all around me. They wore my clothes. In the dim light, I could see two monstrous misshapen things on either side of me. I could just make out the Nike swoosh and realized they were my shoes. They were the size of houses. And then the lizard brain kicked in. Fear, trapped, run, 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 run. I shot left a wall. I scampered up, feeling my feet stick to it, trapped. I jumped back, another hard surface, trapped, run, 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 run. I fought to get control. But the lizard brain was panicked. It didn't know where it was. It wanted out. Out. Go toward the light. I ordered my new body. The ventilation slits. That was the way out. But the body was afraid of the light. It was terrified. I was still bouncing off the walls. I could not overcome the panic instincts of the lizard body. Go to the light, I screamed inside my head, and suddenly I was there. 
I poked my head out, and my body slithered after me. My tongue flicked out, and I got a weird kind of input from it, like smell, only not quite. It kept flicking. I could see it shoot out of my mouth and flick the air. In the bright light, I realized how bad the lizard eyes were. I couldn't make sense of what I was seeing. Everything was shattered and twisted around. Down was up and up was down. Colors weren't even close to right. I tried to think, come on, Jake, you have eyes on the side of your head now. They don't focus together. They see different things. Deal with it. I tried to make sense of the pictures using this knowledge, but they were still a mess. It seemed to take me forever to figure it out. One eye was looking down the hall to the left. The other was looking down the hall to the right. I was upside down, gripping the side of the locker, which was like a long gray field that wouldn't end. And all the time, the green and old brain was fighting me. Now that I was out of the dark locker, <laughs> it desperately wanted to go back in. Chapman's office, I remind myself. But where was it? Left, that way. Suddenly, I was off and running, straight down the wall. Zoom, then on level floor. Zoom, around a scrape of paper twice as big as I was, the ground flew past. It was like being strapped onto a crazy, out-of-control missile. Then my lizard brain sensed the spider. It was a strange thing. Like, I wasn't sure if I saw the spider or heard it or smelled it or tasted it on my flicking lizard tongue or just suddenly knew it was there. I took off after it, racing at a million miles an hour before I could even think about stopping. My legs were a blur. They moved so fast. It, it probably wasn't a huge spider. None of you were a great big human being, but to my lizard eyes it looked as big as a small child. It was huge. I could see the compound eyes. I could see the individual joints in its eight legs. I could see the clicking, awful mandibles. The spider ran. I ran after it. I was faster. No! I screamed inside my head, but too late. My head jerked forward, fast as a striking snake. My jaws snapped. And suddenly the spider was in my mouth. I could feel it fighting. I could feel the spider's legs squirming and fighting to get out of my mouth. I tried to spit it out, but I couldn't. The lizard's hunger for that spider was too great. I swallowed the spider. It was like swallowing a whole can. Ham. A canned ham that was biting all the way down. No, 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 my brain cried in horror and disgust, but at the same time, lizard brain was pleased. I could feel it become slightly calmer. That does it. I told myself, I am out of this morph. I wanted out of that horrible little body. I didn't care who saw me. I was going to morph back to human shape. Mark was right. It was insane to get involved in this. Insane. I heard the ground shake. It was a noise like a giant stomping across the land. It was a giant. There was a huge shadow in the sky. It was like someone was 
trying to crush me by dropping an entire building on my head. The shoe came down. I scampered left. Another shoe. My tail. The shoe was on my tail. I was trapped. <laughs> As... And everyone who knows how lizards' bodies function, don't consider this a cliffhanger ending. But yeah. As you can tell, I am back in my usual lovely spot. Yeah, Dad's back home now. So, yay! Um, one little change I'm making here. Um, I'm not going to take my usual one shot that you see me do at the end of all these videos just because I did a little drinking earlier today. Uh, and I'm fine now, it's just I don't want to add any alcohol, you know. I, <laughs> I'm very careful about what I drink. But anyways, if you have any comments or questions about this chapter, you know, say so down below. Just, um, I'm sort of hoping that someone runs across these videos and that's how they get into the Animar series. So, no spoilers down below. You know, just let everyone be surprised. <laughs> and, okay, even though I'm not going to take a shot, if you do drink alcohol, um, you know, whether it be sake or beer or wine or whatever, take a shot, you know. Or, if you're like me tonight, not drinking alcohol for whatever reason, underage, you just don't drink whatever. Now take a sip of, I'm having some, I think some decaffeinated green tea. It's cold, not the, not the hot kind. And I have some sort of amusing bloopers for them tonight, but they won't be released until tomorrow. And... Well, I'm going to, I've never done, <laughs> done any of these without the shot, so it's a little awkward for me. So I'll take my sort of shot now. And until next video, goodbye.